Hello geocachers, it's Symbol here and I wanted to show my geocaching uh, tools and uh, my geocaching kit. Um, I wanted to show you myself as well. Here I am, this is Symbol. <laughs> um, I should show you some of, uh, start with uh, some, of the, some of the geocaching stuff. It's actually my clothes, especially in winter. I might as well start with my clothes first. Look, I've got some um, fingerless gloves, that's for geocaching, so I can actually get it to micros and things like that. Uh, hat, because you lose a lot of heat in the winter and um, you don't want to be um, geocaching and being uncomfortable. got two sets of um, uh, fleeces. Uh, I've got thermals below. I've got um, my walking boots. They're waterproof. They've been um, waxed. So you don't want to get your feet wet. Uh, what else have we got? And uh, most importantly, I'll show you in a bit, uh, come back to this. I've got um, a GPS with, this was a good find, put this round your neck. I used to have it in my pocket and I've dropped it a few times. But now I've got, um, uh, I don't know what they call it, um, it goes round your neck anyway. Uh, the next thing I could show you is my geocaching stick. I did have a walking stick before, but this is useful for um, uh, going through the undergrowth, looking for a cache if there's lots of um, grass or brambles and things like that. It's also useful if um, little uh, doggles come at you. I've had been nip nipped at the back of my um, legs, but I didn't have this at the time, but now they can they stop wherever this, it's like a third leg, and if you waggle it, they'll, they'll go for that. So at least they're not going to go for me leg. At least it gives you time before the owner comes up and get, gets their out of control dog. Anyway, that's uh, to protect me anyway. Also, it's useful for plonking my camera on top of there, get a stable base, and also it folds up and goes in my bag quite quickly, and it's very light, it folds up and goes in there. Uh, the next thing I could show you is the bag itself. It's a lightweight bag, Galert. Uh, it's got lots of zippers and stuff and put in there. I've got a knife that I might need. Um, I've also got a spare um, a Asus Memo Pad 7 in a wallet, but I'm using my um, and I've got a geocaching apps on there. Uh, that's for a backup as well, but uh, that's good for good GPS on that. I'll put more details below in the description. Um, got nicks, nick knickknacks in there as well, like crisps and stuff. I've got water on one side, but because it's winter, I've got the, um, a mini uh, flask. It's only like a, I don't know if it's less than 500 mil, it's probably 350. Uh, for hot uh, coffee, I just put the hot coffee in there to keep um, keep myself warm. Oh, this is quite good. Um, there, compass of course. Now I've put it on there. Didn't used to have a compass. That's been really useful. Compass and map in there. Also, uh, that's the water, so it doesn't uh, go bad in the in the flask. Little little flask. One of those miniature ones that you use for food. For carrying on the aeroplanes. Um, what else have we got? Oh, in there we got me food. I've just uh, I've just had some food. Actually, I've got um, uh, diabetes, so I have to actually have a sit down and eat uh, food. As you can see, I've, I've had uh, what have I had in there? Crisps, crisps. That milk was like one of milk um, uh, bio milks things like yogurts. Uh, I had some a sandwich and uh, some grapes. And I've just had some crisps. Also, if it, for a heavy downfall, normally I put um, a waterproof in there, but uh, it's been um, it's been fleece weather. All this fleece stuff. I've got double fleece. Um, but if it, in case it, but the f weather forecast says no, it's not going to rain today. And look, you can see the. Can you see? It's not going to. It's cloudy, but yeah, it's not going to rain. But just in case emergency, I've got a fold up umbrella. I saw somebody doing a walk-in on TV with an umbrella. I thought that's a good idea. 
just get a fold up one. I think he's uses a walking stick, a full size uh, walking st stick one. So that would be qu quite good if you want to have it have that instead of your uh, is that kind of uh, walking stick and um, umbrella in one. I think that's a good idea. That's just an idea. Uh, I've got these for connecting extra things like waterproofs and things. Uh, there you are. Just clip, clip, clip on there. Uh, most importantly, I have to have a sit down and have me um, uh, food. I'm thinking of getting a camping stove, uh, so I can. Uh, I quite like to make a little fire and make my own uh, on site. Uh, anyway, we sat by this tree. So I've been sat here eating my food. So some uh, emergency stuff. I've got diabetes, so I need. Um, some emergency uh, glucose tablets but that would be good for you anyway even if you didn't have any problems with your blood sugar that get one of these little things they're little um, jam things and you can put these little tablets in glucose because you don't want to run out of energy while you're geocaching and I'll use a bit of uh, tissue there to hot stop them rattling they're just little little round um, glucose tablets that go in there um, I haven't had to use them because I've um, I've had a proper meal, but that's emergency. If I get lost or anything, or a bit late and it's cold and wet, keys. Well, that's my Giro car, uh, but I've mostly been walking. I've got loads of sets of um, pens, geo pens, pencils. I've got uh, geo knife. That's useful. Oh, of course, that's really useful. I found a really good quality, well, that's really quality uh, tweezers for getting into those little micros. Excellent, that is. Really found that good. I hope I don't lose that, because I don't know where you get them from again. I don't know where I got them in the first place. Um, phone. A lot, a lot of you did, would have um, the new um, phones for um, geocaching. But that's just an emergency phone, uh, just to ring to say I'm going to be late. Um, batteries, always carry batteries. I've got one, two sets there, and of course the two batteries in there um, on my um, Garmin. It's the Garmin e E-Trex uh, 20, and I've downloaded a really good um, map. I'll put it in description. It's only a tenner. It's got the map of the whole uh, UK. Uh, it's by, I think, Talky Toaster. Talky Toaster map. It's an excellent map. It's got me out of a lot of trouble finding paths and things like that. I also have the more expensive uh, a bird's eye map. I think it's about 20 quid and you can choose a mass, quite a large area. All my local areas covered and I've got enough uh, space to put the Lake District in as well. So that's for 20 quid. So I've got the two maps in my GPS. And um, that's great. Look, that's not going to fall anymore. I dropped it a few times. Also, on my bike, I can't show you. I've got a little clipper that goes on my handlebars when I'm uh, bike geo, geo biking. Excellent. And, um, of course, this is the camera. I can't show you the camera, but I'll put the description. It's a, it's a Luminex, uh, I think a TZ20... Uh, 71 but I'll find out and put the exact description but don't forget again spare battery right at the bottom of the because uh, because oh, when I'm making these videos for YouTube and uh, taking photos spare battery in there somewhere spare batteries is the most important thing if I the biggest tip I'd ever give you about uh, geo caching is uh, always carry not just one set a couple of sets because I thought I, I took one set before I put it in after this um, uh, geo, this um, set had gone I thought well I'm all right I got back up put them in and I forgot to charge those as well or they were only five minutes worth of um, energy so I've got two now so I've basically got four th three sets so I've got two backup ones and make sure that these are all um, charged because I just pulled these out today and one of the sets was low I forgot to charge them but thankfully I had a second one and it was fully charged so that was good and um, that's my uh, geocaching uh, setup um, 
that's it. Um, what what have you got in your kit? Uh, let me know um, below in the comments and um, uh, any uh, tips that you know to pass on to other geocachers. And uh, I can leave you with the sun just coming out now. Look, oh, that's good. Can you see the sun really come out strong now? It's looking really nice. It's a lovely winter's day, now the sun's out. And now we've got to find this geocache. I think it's right up this tree, but I don't fancy climbing. If I spot it, I might have a go. If it's, if I don't spot it, I won't. Um, anyway, happy geocaching everyone. And uh, this is um, bye from Symbol. And bye from my geocaching gear. Bye.